Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of October of 2024. I'm gonna pull an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether you already know this person or they're brand new heading towards you this week, I will definitely do my best to see who you're connecting to this week on a romantic level and Take a look at you guys' feelings towards each other this week, get their intentions, their next actions towards you, what kind of challenges you could potentially expect and how to avoid them if the, the case is that way. Um, just please keep an open mind towards that I do get very nosy in my readings. I don't sugarcoat my messages. I don't hold back unfiltered. So know your situation is all. Take only what resonates with you. Leave what does not resonate. Never give over your power to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading, and you're always in full control over your choices. Not that I have to tell you that, but I do like to give out gentle reminders, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to get into your love life this week. All right, please tap into the energy of Taurus today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What's their message for this week? Two more shuffles, eight card spread. One, two. Let's rock this in deck for my terrific Torians. All right, so the person heading your way this week, what are their feelings for you gonna be? We have the death card, this is major for Scorpio. Their intentions with you, the queen of cups, Scorpio energy again, but also Cancer and Pisces. Their behavior and actions with you this week, the Eight of Cups, Scorpio energy again. I think we start Scorpio season in a couple of days. Yeah, we're getting there. All this Scorpio influence. You got somebody here that's feeling like something needs to change. Otherwise, they're feeling like they just are gonna walk away from this. They love you. They love you very much. They intend to love you, but they're feeling like something is slipping away. Okay, let's take a look at your feelings. The Eight of Swords, you both are in this energy of where do we go from here? We have love for each other, but where do we go from here? I'm getting double eights, and we are in the year of number eight. If you break down 2024 numerically, two plus zero plus two plus four is eight, and eight is associated with the number of manifestation, karma, changes, things like that. You and somebody are making it clear in this reading today that you both want to see something change and that you both are at this place where you really don't know what to do. You both are holding on to each other energetically, but you both don't know what to do with the actual relationship. I'm, I'm definitely getting that you both are like, all right, something needs to change. They do love you though. They do love you. Okay. Let's take a look at what's challenging all this this week. We have the King of Wands. That's Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. And your potential weekly outcome, the Eight of Wands, another number eight. This is a very beautiful card to end your week on, which tells me that there's a lot of progress being made, a lot of growth, a lot of, you know, steps in the right direction, Taurus. I absolutely love this card as your outcome, okay? Your advice, the Five of Swords. Mm, when the Five of Swords comes out as advice, We'll talk about it. What's the overall energy? Two of Swords, Libra, Moon energy. Influenced by the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. And then I see the Page of Swords. So Taurus, you and this person are both keeping an eye on each other. You both are keeping an eye on the situation at hand and you both are really open for suggestions. You and this person are pretty much saying in this reading today, Badison, we are open to suggestions, anything to get us out of where we're at right now. And I just got spirit kisses just when I said that. I don't know if you could see all those chills. Um, you both are like, we're at our wits end with the whole situation. How do we go from here? How do we make this work? Otherwise, we, we're, we're at this point where we're just gonna give up on each other. Wow, this is intense. Yep, still have goosebumps. Still the chills. So this is um this is a situation that you both are feeling really, you know, sad about, um, frustrated about. So let's figure out what's going on here, okay? Because clearly there is love. And then as I open up to clarify this person's feelings for you, I see the lover's card and the eight of wands. That eight number again. 
Some of you could be in your personal year number eight or a life path number eight or something about the number eight is really significant. You might be seeing it repeatedly. With the lover's card showing up as I dive into this person's feelings, it's telling me that their feelings for you have not changed. But the situation itself is at a place where you both are like, we can't keep doing this. And I don't know what it is that you guys keep doing. With the King of Wands showing up in the challenge position, I am getting where someone may have allowed their ego to get in the way or allowed their deep insecurities to get in the way. I don't know if that's you or this person. I'll know more as I dive deeper. Or it very well could be the both of you. Because when the King of Wands shows up as the challenge to a relationship, that sometimes tells me that someone allowed their own pride to, to get involved. Like, too much pride to apologize when someone does something wrong. Too much pride to take accountability for, you know, disrespecting the relationship. Or too much pride to admit when they're not showing up for someone the way that they need to. Sometimes the king of wands in the challenge position could be a flirt. It could be someone that can't, you know, just make up their mind on what they want when, when it comes to their passions. The list could go on and on, and I don't want to speculate. So let's just clarify this person's feelings. It feels like you guys have been in a relationship for a while now, or you have been doing this on and off again situation with each other for a while now is what I'm getting. Why the death card as this person's feelings? Justice, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, you might be married to each other because the Justice card talks about legally binding contracts. And if you're not married to one another, they are acknowledging that they feel like you guys have been in a relationship for a while. Because the Ten of Cups is happiness, it's love, it's really feeling like you're with the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Two of Cups is a soulmate connection. We just saw the Lover's card a moment ago. So it, it kind of goes back and forth between having strong romantic feelings towards you, but also that deep, emotional bond as if you're like with your best friend too. Um, with the justice card being here, some of you may be going through some karma together. You guys may be going through a karmic situation. Come on camera. Even though this is the justice card Taurus, it reads consequences on the bottom. But this is the justice card which is major for Libra. I am getting that Libra season as we're closing out Libra season, has been a season for a lot of us to reevaluate our relationships because Libra is the seventh house. The seventh house is associated with relationships, both platonic, family, romantic, business. It's a time for us to really reevaluate our relationships and see who's worth giving our time and attention to, who needs to go, who we may be acknowledging that we have a lot of karma to clear out and we're trying to avoid making more karmic ties with that person. It's, it's a time of reevaluating our relationships so that way when we go into Scorpio season with all this Scorpio energy, to go in Scorpio season um, with that Pluto energy to end things so that we can have new beginnings for ourselves. Or squash repetitive beefs with people so we can have new beginnings with the same person and let bygones be bygones. Agree to disagree on a few things. All right? I've been getting that message a lot for the collective. A lot. A lot of us are like closing doors with people that we just can't seem to make things work with no matter how much we try, how much therapy we go through, it just doesn't work. You know, those are the ones that universe is saying, all right, your karma with that person is cleared. No need to extend that relationship anymore. By doing so, you're just gonna slow your progress. You know? So whoever this person is, they love you. They love you. I got the King and Queen of Cups, plus I have the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups, indicating that there's a lot of love that this person has for you, but there's also this energy of, you know, needing to put yourselves first if the relationship is becoming too, too much of a liability to one's health. Okay, you're in a mental prison about this person, Taurus. The Eight of Swords is telling me that you have spent a lot of your time, energy, and resources Confused about this person, confused about what to do, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like you're in two different worlds at the same time. It's like there's moments where you feel free to just move forward and then other times you feel like you just can't. 
you are anchored to the situation. Whether you feel like you can't because of maybe children being involved or shared assets, shared money, or if it's not like that and this is someone that you've been dating casually for a few months and you just don't know where the relationship is headed, it's the energy of I don't wanna walk away, what if this person is meant to stay? You know, some of you guys are struggling with whether or not this person is committed to you. Because I feel like for some of you, this may have been like a casual thing where there's love involved, but maybe no clear indication of where the relationship is headed. You know, let's clarify your feelings. And then I'm going to get another card off of their feelings, but I'm going to use a different set of cards. Come on, camera. Don't be a jerk. Come on. I open up to the death card for you and the king of cups. Okay, so you both have this death card energy, okay? You both are feeling like something needs to change. The death card doesn't always have to be an ending to a relationship. It's an ending to some of the BS, some of the things that you guys are not agreeing on. You know, when the Two of Swords shows up as the overall energy Taurus alongside the Five of Cups, it's telling me that you both are in this energy of, I guess we'll agree to disagree. We're not really getting anywhere here. We're not seeing each other's perspective. We're just existing here because we love each other. But you both are equally disappointed in the whole situation. Okay, two of swords could also tell me that you guys may have been ignoring each other for a few days, a few weeks, um, in order to just like not, you know, repeat any arguments, but you guys are keeping an eye on each other for some. King of Wands. Clarify Taurus's feelings. Now remember, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. If you're in a relationship that's so hunky-dory that you just want to like smile till your cheeks fall off, then I'm glad. This is for the Taurians that came to this video already feeling defeated in a sense and just looking for either a way out of the situation or a way to make it better. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. The King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, the Death card, Scorpio energy, the Eight of Cups, Scorpio energy. I'm getting all the same repeated cards for the both of you. You guys are mirroring each other right now. You both are feeling the exact same way, okay? You both love each other, but you both are not happy with how the relationship has moved forward, what it turned into, okay? And it's because of this King of Wands energy. All right, so I feel like Taurus, you're telling me that you're comfortable with this person at the same time you're feeling like something needs to, to be no more. Because the King of Pentacles being your court card tells me that you feel like you are in the right place with this person, you feel like you belong with them, you feel like they are home, but you know, it's kind of gotten to the point where you're like, I don't know about this. You have doubts. So let's take a look at their intentions with you and then I'm gonna clarify the actual challenge to your situation. Why the Queen of Cups as this person's intentions with Taurus? I just saw the Fool card in the Wheel of Fortune in the Six of Cups. This is someone that wants to have a new start with you, but only if there's actual change being made with the Wheel of Fortune in the Upright. They're acknowledging that you guys have some history together with that Six of Cups that I saw. The Sun, and then I see the Star and the Three of Swords. They are telling me that they are open to whatever can fix because the star card comes in as a, a rest, restoration of, you know, two souls, right? Because the star card comes out after the tarot card, okay? It's the number 17, tower is the number 16. It follows the tower card in the 78 card suit. All right, and the sun talks about new beginnings after endings because the sun is a rebirth of something. You know, you'll look at the traditional ride awake card of the sun card and you'll see a little baby on a horse indicating new breath taken after old breath no more with the death card. I don't know if there was a third party involved and this person is trying to figure out how to heal the situation after a third party. Third parties don't always have to be everyone was bumping uglies with everybody. It could be family got involved, friends got involved, people allowed you know, other people into the relationship to pick sides, things like that, and it caused some friction. Like if you're married to this person, maybe their in-laws didn't approve of you or they were talking smack about you or their buddies. Let's, let's, let's clarify the King of Wands. Please clarify the King of Wands for the challenge for Taurus in this situation. The Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. 
Now when the Eight of Cups shows up in the Challenge position, remember I reverse it when it's in the Challenge position, okay? Same as the Ten of Swords, same as the King of Wands, and same as the Wheel of Fortune. All being read reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse is the energy of, you know, something not changing, something not working in someone's favor, and if there is karma between the two of you, you guys are working towards that karma, but also creating new karmic ties at the same time because of the issues not being resolved, right? Eight of Cups in reverse is an un unable, being unable to walk away from the relationship because of love, because of attachment, because of children or money or just, well, it's connected to emotions. So you both feel you have a lot of emotional debt into the relationship. It's the energy of, oh man, how can I walk away after giving a year to this person? How can I walk away after giving 10 years to this person? I gave them my heart, what do I do? And the uh, 10 of swords in reverse is trying to recover, trying to recover after a betrayal, trying to heal after a cheating situation, trying to heal after a big argument where someone said something really hurtful, trying to heal after you know something that was really painful to go through. The 10 of swords in reverse is recovery but it's in the challenge position, telling me that if you guys did have an argument, you guys are having trouble moving on from it, but you're still holding on to each other because you don't want to let each other go. Okay, and then I see the world card. So the world card read in reverse is unfinished business. So it's kind of giving two people who are together, right? Whether in a relationship or on and off, um, two people who are together, there might have been something that happened between the two of you recently that one thought moved on from, thought someone forgave them for, but as the time goes on, that situation gets thrown in their face repeatedly, repeatedly, okay? As if to say, wow, you really didn't forgive me, so why did you accept my apology if you really didn't forgive me? Why do we keep on rehashing the same thing over and over again? That's kind of what that's telling me with the Eight of Cups in the Challenge position. You guys have the same argument over and over again. You guys make up and then rehash the argument weeks later. It's something like that, Taurus. You both are not agreeing on the relationship or how people are showing up for the relationship. All right, you have your reality of the situation, they have their reality. Let me clarify this, because it feels like you both see the relationship in two entirely different ways. You both are seeing each other showing up in two entirely different ways. Um, five of Cups, Two of Swords. Why the Five of Cups, Two of Swords? Well, the Eight of Swords again. You both feel really stuck in a mental prison here to the point where these double eights add up to the number 16, which is the number for the tower. It looks like you guys are going to be summoning the tower um, any day now. The tower is coming in as that mom that's fed up with her kids fighting over the same thing over and over again. That's the tower in the situation. You know, universe being your mom and trying to separate the two of you so you both can like figure out what you need to do independently and then see if you guys can come up with a plan on working things out together or just stay in your own rooms and don't talk to each other for the rest of the day. You know, that's the, that's the tower in the situation, Taurus. Coming in as the mom in the situation, trying to make sure you guys don't freaking make things worse. Oh my goodness, I hope this is making sense. Taurus, it's like, I'm getting that you may have recently had an argument with this person where you blocked each other. And if you guys live together, it's like I can sense you guys having an argument. I can even picture it in a kitchen setting. And then you went to bed mad, they went to bed on the couch mad, and you guys woke up with this tension, but still loving each other. Okay. This is not my, my typical Taurus reading. I gotta be honest with you, this is rare as fudge. Usually Tauruses give me like this like cozy little vibe type of read. Um, hmm. All right, I mean your outcome is really good. Your outcome is really good. So I hope this is not making you feel like, oh crap, what a week I'm about to have. No, this is only what pertains to you and another person. Your overall week is looking good on an individual level. So I don't want you thinking that your whole week is gonna be depressing, no, no as it pertains to this person, whoever they are, that's what I'm picking up on. But the rest of your week looks good. Looks like everyone else is loving you. You're loving everyone else. Things are moving in your favor. You may have gotten like some unexpected money. The eight of wands is you feeling happy, okay? But as it pertains to this person, things are looking kind of like you guys have reached a point where you're like, what do we do here? So let's clarify this eight of cups. 
One of the Eight of Cups for this person's behavior and actions this week. You both are like mirroring each other. The Lover's card again. And the Nine of Cups. This person doesn't want to lose this. They don't want to lose you. Ah, uh, Taurus, you're, it's too early to get teary-eyed. What the fudge? This feels like a marriage. Like you guys have been like married for years and you're trying to work out your relationship, whether there's kids involved. I'm not seeing any kid energy, so I'm not gonna go there yet. Um, I usually look for pages and like six of cups to confirm children. But it is showing me that there's someone that you have in your heart for at least, at least a good handful of, of months. This does not feel like some random Tinder date from last week, no. Torians wouldn't give that much energy to someone recent. But this person, whoever they are, they feel a bond with you that they feel like is, um, you know, unbreakable to an extent. Okay, it's like they're reminiscing about how you guys started. <sighs> yeah, I am getting someone feeling disappointed and I'm looking at the Four of Cups and the King of Wands and we do have the King of Wands in the challenge. So whomever is coming up as the King of Wands in this situation is feeling, feeling like they made a situation you know what it is and they're feeling regret okay but still is someone taking accountability for it that's the thing it's like someone someone is like kind of feeling like something is too far gone like how can i apologize for for this 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 is like a combination of several different things over time you know, do I send Taurus an itemized apology <laughs> to, or vice versa? It's like, I, I'm strongly getting someone feeling like there's a, a collection of different little things that added up over time into a bigger thing. So this person is not saying that there's one specific thing that you both are like at, at each other about. It's like a, a, a collection of different little things that manifested into a bigger thing. All right, let's clarify your potential weekly outcome and then I'm gonna get another card on this person's um, feelings for you. Clarify this Eight of Wands for Taurus's weekly outcome. The Magician, beautiful. Six of Cups, Two of Swords, Four of Wands, Page of Swords. That's actually good. That's, that's a plot twist. That, that's, that gives me hope. That gives me hope. Um, I feel like you're not gonna ignore the small things anymore going forward, Taurus. I feel like you're learning how to speak up with this Mercury energy whenever you see something that you deem as disrespectful in regards to this person, so that way it doesn't build up into resentment over time. And I feel like you're gonna talk to your partner about, uh, about it too, to where you guys may be able to come to some sort of um, agreement on how to move things forward peacefully with each other because I'm strongly getting that it was like a, a buildup of small things um, because people were not speaking up at the time it happened. It's like say this person does something little to annoy you but you don't speak up about it you hold it in because um, you don't want to cause any trouble and then you feel resentful towards this person over time to where Every little thing that they do from there on out is annoying to where it builds up to even to more resentment to where you guys might get to arguments more here and there. It's like you guys are learning how to express to each other more effectively to where this doesn't build up into resentment. I feel like you guys might even have children together or there's like a, a history here with that six of cups. There's, there's a deep history here and if not, past life energy may be coming up. Your advice is the five of swords. Now the Five of Swords, that's the energy of fighting for something at all costs. That's the energy of do what you gotta do to, you know, win. But I rarely get that as my advice. Why the Five of Swords? The Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. They're showing me that there is a chance for you guys to overcome this obstacle and plant a new seed you know, adopt a new tree, branches out to a family tree. But the moment where you start to act out of character and you start to do things or say things that are out of your character or against your moral compass, walk away. All right, when you're no longer acting like yourself in a relationship, that might be a, a sign to walk away. But if you feel like you and this person can work through this, 
plant a new seed and actually let whatever happened in the past be in the past and use this as a learning experience to speak up when things are not sitting right with you at the moment it happens and work together as a team to avoid any more situations like this. That's kind of what it feels like because this is a very strong connection. This is a very strong connection. This person loves the heck out of you. This feels like someone that you've been dealing with for a while now who doesn't want to let you go. But you guys don't seem to like see eye to eye a lot. There's constant blocking and unblocking. Oh wait, I was gonna get another card on their feelings. Hold on. That's what it feels like. It feels like this is someone that you've been <sighs> trying to figure out the relationship. It's like, how are you gonna work out something if someone blocks you? Unless it's someone that you really don't wanna ever talk to again. Give me another card on this person's feelings for Taurus. The Empress, which is Taurus energy, and the Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. Okay, this person feels like you are amazing, you are wonderful, you are nurturing, you are worth the time and energy and investment. And the Nine of Wands is the energy of not wanting to give up, wanting to protect, wanting to, wanting to like, you know, see something through, but still needing to keep one's guard up for a little bit. And then the Page of Cups is here. Okay, someone here could have a son. So Taurus, I feel like um, this feels like a very domesticated situation. It doesn't feel like this is someone that you've got a, like an internet thing going on. It feels like this is someone that is really in your life on a really deep basis where your family has met this person. But you guys may have recently hit a, a rough part in your relationship where it, there's more arguing than lovemaking and you both don't want to lose each other, but you both don't want to lose yourselves in the process. Okay, so take it however it resonates. You could be dealing with a fellow Taurus. I got strong Scorpio energy in this reading. Pisces, Cancer. I have Gemini, Leo, um, Aquarius. It could be any zodiac sign. Now, if this reading didn't resonate, do check out the October monthly I did and the other weekly I did. Please rock that like and subscribe button if you're a girl Taurus and if you would like to book a private reading you'll find a link to my website in the description box below of every video BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com that's two D's not one for Badison and every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time I go live with the all signs their feelings for you spread where I dive into your person's energy and yours for the week ahead and see what's going on I will link in the description box below this video the most recent all signs reading I did titled their feelings for you click on that if you want and then go to the Taurus timestamp because it's a very long live stream the thought of you with someone else drives me crazy I feel like what's holding you both on to each other the most is that you both don't want to see each other with other people come on camera it's almost giving, man, I would have broken up with this person a while back, but I don't want them with someone else. It's, it's, it's that, that, that love is still there, you know, even if you feel frustrated. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. Yeah, someone doesn't like it when you're upset with them. It, it makes them sad. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for too long. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You know the truth of me. What did I say earlier? What did I say earlier as one of the biggest causes of what's going on with the two of you right now, Taurus? I said ego. Not eagle, the bird. Ego. <laughs> so, yeah. But there is, there is hope here. Okay, so I hope this reading helps. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and I wish you the best. Namaste.